Hi, everybody. Hello, I'm Ryan. I'm Bethany. And we are Ryan and Bethany Board Game Reviews. And today we are talking about Smart 4, and this is published by Geiker. This is a uh, game that's basically kind of a Connect 4 style game, but you can connect four vertically, diagonally, horizontally. Uh, it also is a three dimensional style game, so you can even go tall ways, or you can go diagonally tall ways, tons of different ways that you can connect for in this game. Uh, we actually did a sponsored kind of playthrough video of this game already showing how to play this game. So if you're interested in how to play the game and see us in action playing the game, be sure to check that video down below. Uh, so I'll have the link in the description so that we can uh, just check it out and uh, have a little fun with that. But yeah, as far as the actual game goes, uh, yeah, this is a Connect 4 style game, trying to get four in a row in order to win. One of the things that's really cool about this is that you just open it up and once you put batteries in, you're just playing. Like, you're just playing the game. It really walks you through how to play it. I mean, yes, you're gonna read and, and figure out how to play, but really, like, that's it. You push the button and you are playing this game. This is a solo mode. It's either a one or a two player game, right? Uh, the you either play against each other or you can play against the computer. And the computer has three modes of difficulty, the easy, medium, or hard. Yeah. Uh, and they're all challenging their own ways, which is really great. I do not like playing a lot of solo games. When I'm playing a solo game, um, you have to be really efficient because you are competing against things like reading a book, right? That's a yeah. solo activity. It's, it's really easy to do and really fun. Uh, or playing a video game or scrolling on your phone or um, <laughs> maybe reading a rule book to another game that you like, you know, or whatever the case is, you are competing There's against... There's a lot of competition yeah, for a solo game. You're competing against a lot of different things. So when I'm playing a solo game. It has to be very, very easy to play. Not necessarily unchallenging or anything like that, but it yeah. has to be, you know, you're getting right to the gameplay. The setup and the terror need to be very, very easy as well in order to entice me to play a solo game. And guess what? This has that perfectly. Uh, you, you get right to the gameplay. You're playing right against the computer. They're making decisions back and forth. The whole thing takes five, maybe ten minutes if you're on your toes and you're able to kind of uh, defend against the computer for that long. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed the solo mode in this, which yeah. is a rare thing for me. Another thing I really liked about it, and it kind of ties into my first point, but our girls can play this game without needing us at all. Like, and we don't even need to make sure that all the bits are there afterwards. We don't have to um, reread the rule book or refresh them on rules. No, they can just get it out and they can play it. So much so that they've done just that. <laughs> they get it out and they go straight to playing. And one of the things that's really cool is um, they like to stack it, right? That's how they like to play like any child would like to stack things. Then the game will beep at you if you try to stack it too, too hard so they know, nope, can't do that. So I don't even need to remind them of anything because the game reminds them how to play. So I just think that's really cool that the girls can get straight into this game and not need us at all and can just like get to it. This is an abstract style game, obviously. It's just kind of those black and white pieces on the board. Uh, and it's a Connect Four style game. We've seen that style of game before. That's not necessarily a new concept in yeah. gaming. You're trying to connect things. Tic-tac-toe, the game itself, Connect Four. Uh, but what, what did this bring to the table that was new and different? Uh, for one thing, the three dimensions, right? Um, so you have uh, a whole lot of variety of ways that you can get four in a row. Uh, so you're having to think on a different levels, like literally, as well as figuratively. You're, you're <laughs> trying to like, level. as you're kind of looking at the board, trying to figure out like, what are what's my opponent capable of with their coming up moves? You need to be thinking ahead, which is which is I enjoy that style of play. You know, it's kind of like that chess. You have to be thinking three, four, five moves ahead in order to kind of counterbalance what you think they're doing as well. Yeah. Um, and just watching that all stack up, it's just so it's so cool. Uh, but another thing that besides just the the three-dimensional aspect of it, but also the electronic version of it too. It's just it's just such a cool um, gateway. It's, it's kind of this yeah. combination between uh, video games and board games, right? It has uh, you playing, especially when you're playing a solo mode. Uh, you are getting a chance to tactilely feel things. You're playing a board game. You're actually touching stuff and you're moving stuff around. But at the same time, you're playing against a computer. So it's it merges those worlds very, very well, very seamlessly. This is the kind of a game that uh, you can introduce to, to anybody, someone who likes chess, someone who's not a gamer at all, uh, someone who likes video games, for instance, yeah. or only likes to play video, you know, board games 
on a, a screen or device or whatever. Um, but at the same time, you can play it in the family setting or with your kids as well. It's, it works in a lot of different scenarios. So one thing that I really liked about this game, just like my overall perception of it, is I feel like it does that in between worlds. So if you have a child who um, just really likes their tablet or really likes playing games, I think just the subtle noises that the game makes when you press, okay, you press it, makes a beep, and now it's your turn, I think can fulfill some of that sensation while also not staring at a screen. And honestly, I kind of feel like this would be a good travel game for us like to have it in the car if we have road trips you could just put the pieces in baggies and then the kids can just pass it back and forth to each other and i just feel like that would be perfect in that setting yeah I and mean, this is a fairly simple concept this is a game that, like, we've we've seen mechanically we've got we've seen this game before right uh, but it was smooth it was easy to play uh, and it was fun um so there's nothing you know besides um it's really earth shattering here, right? But then nonetheless, I had a great time playing this one. It was it was right to the action. Uh, it looks cool and made you tickle your brain in just the right way. Everybody, thank you so much for watching it. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see our videos as they come out. Until then, you can find us in all of these places. You guys, thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.